Hi everyone and welcome back to Sonic Academy with me, Chris Agnelli and Philip Johnson. Hi folks, how's it going? Uh, today we're looking at Bitwig in this Sonic feature and we've had a quick overview of the interface and now we're going to take a look at some of the devices that come with it. Yep, so we'll quickly just go through the um, instruments. So we've got uh, a kick drum generator. It's a... Uh Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as good as maybe other kick drum generators out there. No, so... Um, another one. Um, got uh, decay, level decay, tune, pitch amount, Pitch curve, and then your pitch modulation, and you've got a click. It's just a one click. You yeah, get, yeah. So it's pretty decent. You can get some nice, nice subby sort of um, kicks. Kicks, and then we have clap. These are very sort of reminiscent of pure analogy type. And there's obviously a bunch of presets as well. So if you want to bring up presets, you can double click on your track to bring up your instrument view. Click on this and it'll give you a list of your presets. You can go through. So there's a ton of them. And then we have some snares as well. And we have, again, presets that you can go through. So it very much feels like in the analog world, doesn't it? You know, it's yeah, it's 808 sort of, yeah. that type of kind of vibe. And um, we have toms, which is very 808 sound. seem to be any tom presets there's not much going on with the tom bit of a tuning decay and yep it's um so that's the sort of drums some nice nice enough stuff um for sort of that real minimal sort of techno stuff and um, let's get rid of some of these and Probably the best one is the polysynth. I think this is actually, for a built-in synth, this is pretty decent. You can do some nice stuff with this. Um, so let's draw in some. So we have two oscillators, um, and both oscillators have some really cool features. We've got um, shape. So between a square, pulse, and triangle? Yeah. Yes, between a pulse, pulse. Uh, a saw, and then it seems to like be like a higher saw. Pitch, so yeah. Yeah. And then you can add a sub in. And then there's sync as well. Um, it's, it's, it felt, felt kind of ele elegant when I played with it. it was yeah, kind of, I, you know, I actually really like it. Yeah, it's yeah. got some really nice ideas. Um, so, got a unison mode. This is retrigger, is it? I think this is a retrig mode. So 
So nice enough, super saw. Yeah. Filters are decent. You don't get that real bite you would get off some synths. But it's a nice warm, warm sort of sound. Mm -hmm. And you have standard ADSRs. You've got a nice touch of being able to um, adjust the curve. Yeah, that's really nice. Nice feature. Um, standard ADSR for your amp. Um, Below the sub, what's the B slider? The is that it's like a sub shape? Is it? Yeah. So you can move your. Let me see. I'll uh, bring this back down to one. Like a pulse width. It does not seem to be. Will you turn the sub up. Is that just for the sub? Yeah. yeah, pulse width, yeah. Um, so the cool thing about this is that all the parameters parameters can be very easily modulated. So say, for example, we want to uh, modulate our um, sync. We can click on our FEG, and then which is our filter envelope generator, and then all the knobs that can be modulated to it turn green. And we just turn it up, and you can see it gives you the sort of and you can do that with a bunch of different sounds. So <coughs> Lovely graphical representation there. I like this, you know, totally see what's going on with your wave. So very cool synth. I really like it a lot. Yeah, I, pl I had a play with it yesterday, and I, I you can actually get quite a varied range of sounds out of it. You yeah, know, you've got super saws. You've got tons of you know. I think for that sort of bottom end, dirty analog bass mm -hmm. with like you know loads of different um, shaping options. Um, and say so it's it's not a huge big uh, thing like say ES2 with tons of rooting, but you can still. Very quickly get some really interesting results out of it. Yeah. I think yeah, it'll be a big, it'll be a big winner this synth. Yep, it's very cool. Like. Yeah, being able to have the unison on while all that other modulation stuff's going on, I think it's very cool. There's a lot of option there for, you know, manipulation. Mm -hmm. And then we have a nice FM synth. So it's a something similar to operator, I would imagine. Um, <coughs> you've got your uh, four operators, and you can modulate them in the same way. Let me see what presets we've got for this. Now that I just press there, there we go. See, bizarrely, that doesn't sound FM -y to me. Yeah, some stuff doesn't, does it? Some definite FM -y yeah, vibes to bells and. So, 
Uh, each preset can contain effects, so there's an effects button for each um, device, and you can drop effects right into the device, and that means that you can share modulation and stuff between the devices. Um, so yeah, cool. Sounding decent. Um, um, an organ. Yeah, to play. This is just a very s simple tone bar, sort of. Yeah. That's pretty much that. And then we have sampler. So, um. Yeah, this is a mix between, I suppose, simpler and sampler. So I think you can have multi samples here, m multi samples in it. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just get up some presets. So you've got a bunch of multi samples, some real instruments. Can I just drop that on here? And obviously, you can go in then and edit where your multi samples are. You've got velocity layers, and so that's uh, that's three layers on on each key. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there's yeah, it's a pretty pretty decent. What, I mean, overall, what do you what do you think about the instruments on offer? It's a little bit thin on the ground compared to you know what you get with Logic these days and and uh, Ableton. What you know, it's a it it feels, and um, I think it's okay. I think that they've mentioned a few times that their goal is to open up the individual elements in a modular way mm -hmm. to be able to create your own. Yeah. So combining, say, a sampler element with some of their synth elements, and so th there's a modular. there's a bigger picture here where there's you a bigger picture. Yeah, where you you know I think I think fundamentally their synthesis engine for polysynth's really nice. You yeah. know, there's a lot of features there. You know, so if you're able to take that oscillator out, they have so in the audio effects they have a, a really really nice um, like the filters in the synths are grand, but there's a, a really really nice ladder. Filter. Ladder filter. I'll throw it a loop in here just so you can hear it and we'll go through some of the get nice breaks. So in your browser you can have autoplay and match the tempo and all that keeper. So I'll throw that in. Yeah. So it's got ADSR, envelope following, all that kind of caper. Oh, I'm on the wrong track. So it seems to be one of the new sort of filter designs. It has like self resonance and stuff. Sounds very analog. Uh -huh. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so self oscillation. One of the cool things you can do is so say we have the polysynth here. I'll just uh, wait and deinitialize the preset. Just throw a new one in. Uh, so one of the really cool things about Bitwig is this sort of internal modulation. So I'll throw a ladder on to this. So yeah, we can send um, the note effects to this ADSR. Mm -hmm. So, you can see the green light that's passing through yeah, yeah. to the ADSR. So, what's basically happening is we've no filter assigned on the synth, uh, but we can use this filter on on the separate plugin, uh -huh. and it works like as if it was built in. 
I wish Logic would do a, a really good simple filter. The only omission with this is that you don't have this nice curve control, which is a shame. Right. Uh, but and it's not polyphonic, so it's just a, a monophonic filter. But if for bass lines or anything really, it seems. It's a nice filter. So, and again, that'll apply to any of the any of the built-in synths where you can send node information across to various parts of, of plugins. Okay. So it's very cool. Um, and w do you want to? Go through some of the effects now, or do you want to do that in the next video? Or yeah, we'll go through. Um, Again, there's not tons and tons of effects, but there everything that's there is is solid and correct. And yeah, we've got. Uh, let me see. So, oh, get back my bass line. I have a bass line somewhere there. Yeah, I got rid of it, did I? So we'll just plug in a quick bass line and we can play with some filters or some effects. Basic synth sound there, and we'll just start playing about and seeing. Yeah, I'll be listening through some of the stock uh, effects that come with it. So we have 8 bit, bit crusher type. Nice for crunching right. stuff yeah. up. Um, we have blur, which seems to be like a stereo width type. Yeah, it's like a, yeah. It's really, I, I was listening to this yesterday and thought it was very nice. Although I wanted, I didn't have a, a mono button handy. I can yeah, see so it's just a series of short, short delays. Yeah. Um, that seem to have cross modulation and stuff on them. Um, so just for a bit of width and yeah. it'll be uh, used a lot. Different effects. Say. Got Cor our standard chorus. So sounds decent yeah. enough. Comb is nice. It's a, just a comb filter. <laughs> Just give you a bit of bite and sort of if you're doing that breaksy thing or if you're using a sync. Yep. Sort of sound, yeah. And um, we have a standard compressor and this doesn't have side chain. How did you find the compressors? Transparent or um yeah, they seem nice. Everything seems quite warm. There's a nice warmth to okay. most of the stuff in it. So you can get some nice results, and then they have um, the d dynamics version, which is a bit more um, involved. You've got um, more control over your knee, over your loud and your quiet elements. Is some similar to you get on the DBX um, uh, one sixty, where you have like two thresholds. You know, you right. have like a low threshold and a high threshold. So like can keep it between a, a sort of um, area. Um, side chaining options on that as well. Yeah. And you can 
can see there. So it's like upward compression and downward compression. Mm -hmm. You can actually m edit the graph as well, which is handy. That's nice, yeah. And then we've got a, a side chain on this one, so we can, you know, activate the kick. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> can we apologize again for the... <laughs> for Sorry about that. Hearing loss. Uh, yeah, so we've nothing coming through the kick, so... Um, yeah, so that's our compression. Sorry about your speakers. I should probably put a limiter on the output while we're doing this. Good time to test out the limiter. Yeah. So I've got a basic peak limiter. And let me get the drums on the go. I'll turn the volume down a bit. It's not the best limiter I've heard, but it's, mm -hmm. it'll certainly, for a couple of d dB over the output, I'm sure it'll be handy enough. Um, so we'll just keep that there. And what else have we got? We've looked at the filter. We've got some delays. So. so basic delay with a single tap. Is it stereo? I'm not sure if it is. Pitch, is it? That's just uh, you can have like synced right. taps or you can have like milliseconds. See, plugins like that really interest me. That's simplistic, you know, there's a tap, there's a low cut, high cut mix feedback. Yeah, so the Let's second on. yeah, the second one's a stereo version yeah. of this. Got crossfeed there if you want to do like uh, ping pong type stuff. Some feedback. Crossfade, yeah. And then you've got offset as well, which I like to use. That sort of offsets the time slightly. So you don't get phasing. Yep, yep. So it's a nice, I like that, that one there. Mm -hmm. Um. Cool delays. Uh -huh. Nothing unexpected really there. Um, um, we've got distortion, so let's fire the distortion on our bass. And is it the uh, number at the side? I take it I don't know, it's the number of presets, is it? Distortion has nine presets. Is that where is that there? Oh, uh, yes, it's here, yeah. Um, yeah. Drive, you get slew. You've got uh, a pre EQ, so how that sort of is an EQ before the the Game distortion stage, stage yeah. <coughs> and then you have a post low cut and high cut. Width? Yeah, width. It's handy, like most of the plugins seem to have a width control, uh -huh. you know, if you're for managing the. Um, that. Mm. 
mixed control as well. It's handy. Yeah, most of, most of them have a mixed control as well. Is this? Yeah. So yeah, it's, seems it's, pretty a, it's really nice actually sighting distortion. Yeah, you know, it's nice. I, li- I like it. Definitely mm. useful for bases and stuff. Um, what else have we got? EQ2. So just a low cut and a high cut or a low shelf. Imagine this would be handy for just low cuts. Yeah, low cuts, high cuts, that yeah. kind of thing. Pretty surgical, and then we have a sort of bigger EQ. Very pretty sounding EQs, nice top end as well. Apply this on the drums and probably hear it a bit better. I think it's a nice it's, again it's 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 really nice it's very basic there's no mid side options or anything like that uh there's only five bands but you know it it does what you need yeah, it, it does to do. the job yeah and it's, it actually sounds nice you know This is just like an EQ, a DJ EQ, mm-hmm. so cuts. And can you change the frequency of Yeah. Yeah, so pretty nice. We've looked at the filter. Flanger. Flanger. Does flanging. <laughs> uh, frequency shifter. <laughs> Not 100% sure what a frequency shifter is. I read up about it in a synthesizer thing before. It was a, a module that used to be included in synthesizers. And yeah. it's actually, uh, I believe, in... The nine oh nine snare is how they get the the ring part of the ring or the or the tom yeah right. I'm not exactly hundred percent sure how that works. Um, what does the gate do? Gate stuff. Yes, so it seems pretty cool. We've looked at ladder, peak limiter, we've got on uh, resonator, bank, Re- reverb, if you want to go to it next. Same as the resonator resin- enabled and yeah. reverb. What did you make of it? Yeah, we'll come to that last one. Nice ring mod. I imagine that would be nice on the um, organ. organ. Yeah. So this is similar to Ableton Utility. Ah, okay. Get your width, amplitude, and then your left, right. Is that phase? Is it or just must be invert phase? Yeah. And transient control. Very handy That's tools, handy. very similar to the SPL. Yeah, transient designer. Transient so designer, yeah. yeah. So you can just sort of tighten your drums up and lips and... Yeah, no, I like that. Tremolo. I 
Again, is it mono? Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm surprised there's no sync y yeah. on that there. Although, with again, with the internal routing, you know, I'm sure you can hook that up to other modulation sources and have it timed somehow or other. And lastly, reverb. Reverb. Yeah, this was the one area I was a wee bit disappointed with. Um, it didn't sound that good to me. Oh, sounds good there. Maybe it just <laughs> didn't sound good on synths. Got a couple of modes. We got room and hall. Um, let me try on the polysynth. Yeah, I was using it on, you know, like super saw type sounds and it didn't quite sit there maybe as much, but it sounds nice on the Did on the, the drums, drums there, yeah. Reverb. Yeah, so it's decent enough. Again, basic. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it sounds nice. I get, you know, you're maybe just limited by the types of reverb they're they're using. So, um, something like Valhalla Room, which has got a lot more, you can fine tune it for maybe a particular synth sound. Or yeah. Okay. Well, guys, there's a quick sort of uh, overview of some of the devices that come with a Bitwig. Uh, all and very solid. And do, do you know what I kind of, what I'm slightly attracted by is. The limited options mm -hmm. that you're just everything you need to create something like you were playing with the bass line yesterday, and three or, you know a chain of three or four you had a sound pretty good you know and sound very good yeah. Uh, so there's a bunch more we need to look at so we'll do that in the next next video. Okay, guys, see you all very soon. <laughs>